No need to even have a vote. We have the employee of the year yeah. right here. Easy. Uh, Massachusetts Brewery with uh, an unlikely employee on staff. Very important one, though. Yes, Jax the Cat has been working <laughs> at Bog Iron Brewing in Norton for about four years. 12 News reporter Jake Coulter joins us live in studio. Jake, what's the advantage of having a cat on the payroll? Well, Kate Patrick, Jax the Cat's job mostly entails keeping the mice away, and he good job at it he does. Bog Iron Brewing owner Brian Shirtliff says he hasn't seen a single rodent since he brought Jax on board. It's not every day you encounter a four-legged employee while out to eat, but Jax the Cat has proven to be invaluable to Bog Iron Brewing in Norton. He lives on the premises. He's a working cat. His collar says Bog Iron employee right on it. The owners found him as part of the working cat program with the Animal Protection Center of Southeastern Massachusetts. Owner Brian Shirtliff thought this would be a better alternative than using chemicals or poisons around the bar and restaurant to get rid of rodents. Whenever you're going to have grain, unfortunately you get end up having rodents. Staff members suggested a cat. I was at, at my wits end said, sure, let's try it. Now four years later, Shirtliff says the mouse problem is gone. The only problem Jax has caused for him? Stealing the spotlight. I've been brewing almost 30 years. You know, I put my life in, into this place and people are like, hey, can we meet the cat? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> and it's not just Bog Iron Brewing. Mike Kiley with the MSPCA says he has seen more and more breweries across Massachusetts employ working cats. The natural connection between breweries and cats became apparent to us. And so there's a lot of cats that do need these types of alternative placements. They need that social interaction. And so uh, the places that welcome people to their establishment um, make a nice, nice companion opportunity. Shirtliff says Jax is compensated for his work in cat food, a warm bed, and a surplus of attention. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.